Hello and welcome back to my channel for another video. Today I'm trying out Pinterest outfits on my mid-size body. Women exist in all shapes and sizes, and I think we typically see fashion content on women who fall within what's really a very limited range that isn't fully representative of how women look in reality. And because of this, a lot of women, including myself, get caught up in thinking, well, I can't wear this unless I'm a size whatever. And other things that involve just generally putting off life until you fit into what we see women look like in the media. And in this video, the point that I'm trying to get across is that regardless of whatever changes you may still want for your body, your life and your wardrobe is waiting for you. Your body deserves respect and you deserve to wear whatever you want without worrying whether you can pull it off. I promise you, you can find a way to pull off whatever you want. So I found five photos just off Pinterest to recreate. Um, I like using it to save outfits. I've got a board for like autumn winter outfits and then one for more spring summer outfits. Instagram is also really good for saving outfit inspiration, but I think it's more like you follow someone and then they post outfits and then you save those. Whereas on Pinterest, if you're looking for something specific, it's a bit more helpful. So if you're looking for like wide leg jeans or Western style boots, then Pinterest will turn up a bunch of options. So that's why I like using that as well as Instagram. So yeah, I found five photos and I'm gonna recreate those outfits with stuff that I already have in my wardrobe. Okay, so look number one is this classic French look. We've got dark sunglasses, a trench coat, a black jumper, dark blue skinny jeans, black loafers, and a black bag. So for my outfit, I've got a pair of tortoiseshell cat eye sunglasses, a beige trench coat, this black knit from Uniqlo, a pair of really dark blue denim skinny jeans, some black loafers, and a black crossbody bag. I think this is such a classically chic French look that we often see on the typically slim French woman, but it absolutely works on a midsize or curvy body too. I think a lot of women assume that it takes no effort for these Parisian models to look this good. They're slim, so of course they can chuck on a pair of jeans and a trench coat Coat and look fabulous. But in reality, that's probably not the case. And they probably spent a similar amount of time getting ready as anyone else would. So I'm just trying to make the point that even though she looks effortlessly chic, it's probably not that effortless. And she probably spent a lot of time searching high and low for the perfect skinny jeans, the perfect black loafers, the perfect trench coat to pull this look together. So if you spend the time searching for the right pieces that fit your body well and give you the look you want, then I think it's totally possible for anyone to achieve the same sort of effortlessly chic look. For outfit two, we have this cute navy and black number from Sabina Sokol. I always think of her name as Sabina So Cool because she looks stunning and has the coolest wardrobe. So what she's wearing here is this adorable navy peacoat with brass buttons, a navy jumper, it could be black, but let's go with navy, a black mini skirt, we love a mini skirt, a pair of opaque black tights, black heels, and a silver bag. For my outfit, I've got this navy peacoat, a navy Uniqlo knit, this black mini skirt from Princess Highway, a pair of opaque black tights and heeled Mary Janes. And then I've also gone for this blue clutch because I don't have a silver bag. This is totally something I could see myself wearing and probably have worn variations of in the past. It's a bit chic, but it's also a bit cute. Her coat comes down a little further than mine and mine doesn't have the same gorgeous brass buttons that add that military flavor that she's got, but that's okay. We're working with what we've got. It's also difficult to see what kind of shoes she's wearing because they sort of blend into the opaque tights. She might be wearing suede ankle boots, but I've gone for these little heeled Mary Janes that I think look really cute. So it's cute, it's French, and I feel like I should almost be wearing a beret. For outfit three, we have sunglasses, a black high neck jumper, a leopard print slip skirt, which looks like the Realization Par Naomi skirt, and a pair of Doc Martens that look like they have a bit of a platform. For my outfit, I've gone for the tortoiseshell cat eye sunglasses again, this turtleneck black jumper from And Other Stories, a leopard print skirt, and a pair of Doc Martens. So a few differences to note here are, obviously we don't have the same sunglasses and that's fine. My jumper is a bit closer fitting than hers. I actually think next winter, I really wanna get more of the Uniqlo Lambs Hall crew neck jumpers. They're really nice. I've got one in hot pink, but I think one in black and one in like a cream color would be a really nice addition. Then my leopard print skirt, which I actually had hemmed as it was a maxi skirt, when I first bought it, but I got it for a great deal and it's a pretty close dupe for the Realization Par Naomi skirt and I got it for like a minuscule proportion of the cost. Then I've got my classic 1460 Dr. Martens, which I've had since I was about 17. They were actually one of the first things I bought when I got my first part-time job. So I think the model in the photo is wearing platform boots and mine are just normal, but that works fine. I really like this look because it shows how versatile this skirt is. I've worn this skirt with a white t-shirt, a black t-shirt, goes with jumpers. I could wear it with a linen or a silk shirt knotted at the middle. Actually, I could wear it with something like a ribbed tank top as well. The only thing that would be a bit tricky is anything silky that has to be tucked in. So like a silk cami top, or if I were tucking in a silk blouse, I feel like that would just move all over the place and be super annoying. But yes, this is an extremely versatile look and I love it. 
For outfit four, this is Gian Dama, another Frenchie with a fabulous wardrobe. Here she is wearing a plaid blazer, a navy knit, a pair of jeans that seem to be a washed black or blue, and a pair of brown leather ankle boots. And she also has a little bag on the table there. For my outfit, I've gone for my black blazer, a black knit, black jeans, brown croc boots, and my barber bag. So what I've done is I've taken the formula for this outfit and I've changed it a little to suit the colors of what I have in my wardrobe. So I have this gray plaid blazer, but I think the blazer Jean is wearing is more of a brown cream and generally warmer toned blazer. I've also got on a little necklace like she does here. And I'm not sure if the jeans she's wearing are like a washed indigo or washed black, but they're definitely a straight leg with a raw hem. So I've put on my black straight leg raw hem jeans, and then I've paired this look with the brown croc boots, which are similar to her ankle boots. And I've got my brown barber bag, which is similar to the one she has on the table there. I like this look a lot, and I think it works for a lot of scenarios. I could wear this for work or out for coffee or drinks like she is. I love a bit of plaid. I think it's a really easy pattern to spice up your wardrobe if you're afraid of patterns at all. And I also just love the straight leg jeans over these ankle boots that go up the ankle a little bit. I love the silhouette that it creates. And the fifth and final look is this very simple outfit. And honestly, I chose it mostly so I could show you these red boots. So we have a black jumper, a pair of black jeans, and a pair of red ankle boots. For my outfit, I've got the same and other stories black jumper. I've got the black jeans on again, and I've just paired it with this pair of red ankle boots. I think this is a really understated way to wear a statement boot. The all black outfit provides a really comfortable backdrop for the red shoe, and I think it's a really cool way to wear them. I've also had these red boots for years and years without having many good ideas for how to style them well, so I'm really happy I can style them like this. Again, I really love the shape that's been created by the combination of the straight leg jeans and the ankle boots that come up inside of the jeans. So there you go, that's the final look. That's all I have for today, and I hope you enjoyed watching me style these outfits on my own very average size 14 frame. I think it's really important that we see women of all shapes and sizes wearing all sorts of clothes, and that we bust the myth that only women who fit a particular ideal can look chic and fashionable. So get out there and wear whatever you want. If you like Parisian vibes, then wear that. If you like preppy vibes, then go for it. If you like a more grungy look, then do that. Find a way to wear what you want, and I promise you will love your wardrobe and your body more than you ever have. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you back here for another video soon. Thank you.